Let's bring you more now from Qatar, where Wales have stepped up their preparations with three days to go until their first World Cup game since 1958. Geraint Hughes is at their training base where they were training in uh, bright sunshine, what, less than an hour and a half ago, and now it's all gone dark on uh, Geraint. What did you learn from what you saw at training, Geraint? I've acclimatised so much, uh, Nick, I'm actually cold now, um, so I put my jacket on. Uh, uh, what do we learn from Wales training today? Only their second day are on the pitch in, in training here. They call it the office um, when they get on the pitch uh, to get ready for their games, whether they be at a World Cup, a Euros or, or, or any other international uh, camp. Um, let's first of all start off with Wales's biggest injury worry, and that is not Gareth Bale. It's Joe Allen. Uh, Joe Allen was not necessarily a surprise uh, pick for the 26. It was just always going to be a bit of a rush to get him there. As you can see from the pictures, he's, he's a long distance away uh, from where the rest of the team were training. My cameraman managed to pick him out. He's doing his own programme with other members of uh, the Wales uh, medical and physio staff and the coaches there because they're in a rush to see if they can get him in a position where Rob Page could may be able to select him for that first game against the USA. He's really going all out. He's uh, been looking after himself uh, back in the UK. He's been putting himself into an oxygen chamber before he flew out here to Qatar. And he's now doing a programme that is best designed to try and get him fit. It's no surprise that he is doing this on his own. This is the best way that he can uh, manage that hamstring injury, recover from it, and then get the load uh, into the legs that he needs. So that's the main concern about Joe Allen, um, but he's still going through those personalised fitness plans. Now, as far as uh, the other one that we all talk about, it's uh, somebody we all know about, Gareth Bale. Is he fit? Is he not? Yes, he is. He looks in really good shape, Gareth Bale. What are the things about him to remind everyone? He is a phenomenal athlete, even if he wasn't playing football. He's one of those annoying people that would be good at any kind of sport, whether it be athletics, rugby or anything. He looks after himself, an incredible diet, he's teetotal. He enjoys looking after his body as well. So um, he's taking full part in the two training sessions they've had so far. And he's already said on, on Monday uh, to us here at Sky Sports News, categorically, he's fit and he's fit to play three games uh, every four days if needed as well. So, so far, so good if you're a Wales fan where it comes to, to Gareth Bale. And I think as far as Joe Allen, it's going to be right up to the wire to see whether Rob Page is able to make uh, any kind, any kind of selection about Joe Allen for that first game. Gareth, you spoke to the goalkeepers today. Who's the number one? Yeah, they're a funny bunch, aren't they? The goalkeeping union. I spoke to the three goalkeepers and the goalkeeper um, and the goalkeeping coach uh, Tony Roberts. Uh, really interesting to ha to have a chat with them as well. And I just to, just to actually hear about sort of uh, the psychological process they go through as well. Nick, you know, they make a mistake. A goalkeeper, everyone pounces on it, but an outfield player could make ten during a game when no one would notice. Um, but yeah, who is that number one? You've got the loyalty that Rob Page wants to bring to his outlook on, on, on whatever side that he selects for the World Cup. Wayne Hennessy played a phenomenal part in Wales getting to this World Cup. Just look back, any highlights of Wales against Ukraine on June the 5th this year, that World Cup playoff final, Hennessy was incredible. He said it was the best game of football he's ever played. Everyone else in that pitch said they've never seen Wayne Hennessy play so well. On the other hand, you've got Danny Ward, who in recent weeks, recent months for Leicester City, has been performing fantastically and he's getting a run of regular games in the Premier League. So who do you go with a number one, that battle for the number one spot? I'm really close to both of them. Um, but like I said, keep saying every time, competition, it's healthy and we're all doing well at the moment. So yeah, it, it's, it's obviously a nice choice to have for Rob Page. But your performance, Rob Page again, has talked a lot about that word loyalty. That performance against Ukraine, do you still... Do you, still have, do you still dream about that performance? Yeah, like I said, it's my best, best performance in a Welsh shirt for me, 100%. And like I was saying, that they're the games that you'll never, ever forget in your whole career. In terms of a selection thing, that's, that's something out of our hands as, as players. That's for the manager and the coaching staff to make that decision, you know, regardless of, of who plays, whether it's myself, Wayne, Adam Davis, if Tony Roberts decides to put the gloves on, it's, we're, all, we're all there to back each other. Uh, Personally, you know, feeling in a good way. 
a bit of a turnaround from the start of the season, I must say. Uh, you know, confidence is high, so yeah, but in a good place. Right, so they're talking about who's going to be the number one choice. What's the number one job of a goalkeeper? It's to keep the ball out the net, isn't it? The ball. Um, every World Cup, there's always this special World Cup ball that's made. Goalkeepers don't necessarily like it. Let's have a chat now with the goalkeepers about the modern day football and the new football at any major tournament and especially a World Cup uh, uh, football. It's their belief that footballs are made not with them in mind. They're definitely not making balls to improve goalkeepers, that's for sure. Really. Um, obviously, they want to see more goals, they want to see more f different change, different flight patterns and stuff, but yeah, the balls are always probably going down the, the worst route for goalkeepers, really. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's not an excuse. The balls do move. So, from a coaching point of view, we'll do sessions where I want to catch him, and then there's sessions where I want him to parry him away because at the last minute it could. It could the, the movement could like come out of his line, so instead of like fumbling and trying to catch it, we make an early decision and push it out of the way. So, um, from a coaching point of view, yeah, the, the balls don't help at times, but that's not an excuse. Wait, just on, on the you know the time you've had with this ball, is this ball different? Yeah, it is different. Yeah, um, especially when you've got Bale shooting at you, it's different. Um, but no, obviously, these balls these days and the nice, the Nike, Adidas, Puma, Umbro, they're all good balls and and. Yeah, like it's saying, as long as it stays round, then we'll be fine. Uh, there's not a chance that I don't want to swap these hands with Wayne Hennessy. He's, uh, he's welcome to have Gareth Bell shooting at him pot shots during training. So that's uh, the latest from the Wales camp. Uh, training again tomorrow, just to remind everybody about the heat here during, during the, the, the day. It is getting up 33, 34 degrees. Wales once again are choosing to shift their training to a cooler part of the day. They don't want to overload the players and have to overhydrate them as well. It's all about getting them ready for that first game now against the USA on Monday.